Hey, it's Dave Heineman here with Guitar Parrot. I um, want to give you guys a quick um, overview of the welcome screen, setting the game up to play, and then the next video I'll actually demonstrate playing uh, against the app once I've got the setting screen done. So uh, this very first thing I'm going to do is just launch the app. Let's get tuned up. And uh, he lets you know, let's get tuned up. Uh, on this screen, the tuner window is blank right now. Um, it takes a volume from the input of the... Uh, right now I'm just playing as a little Fender Tweed. Um, you need enough volume that the... Uh, you need a volume that the mic can pick up the notes coming from the amp. You can use an amp, you can use an acoustic guitar, you can use a piano, whatever is loud enough to get a stable reading on the tuner window. Um, that'll give you success. Uh, so this is... Uh, okay. Level uh, The level knob. Right now, the default first time you launch the game, level one is just a game that's four notes long to win, which is great. A uh, good place to get started. Uh, key of C, nice and simple. Um, octave is low. At the end of each... Um, if you make a mistake, if you win, whatever, at the end of each event, the game will pause and pop up a little message and let you know uh, if you want to continue or resume the game. Uh, you get three chances on each round uh, before that round is over. Each time it starts a new melody, it's a new random melody. You can't memorize the melodies because they're always generated fresh at the beginning of each game. However, you do get three chances with each melody. Okay, the modes. Um, a four-note mode, I'm calling it a mode in this um, idiom. I'm calling it a mode because I just couldn't think of a better word. It's not a mode like Locrian or Dorian or whatever. It's a mode, um, four-note mode, five-note mode, and then full-scale modes. So the four note mode is uh, basically four middle notes out of the pentatonic, which is really um, a really good grouping of notes. A lot of strong melodies and licks come out of these four notes. It's in the key of C, the low note is G. Um, you could also think of it as in the key of A minor, with the low note being the flat seven, or uh, seven of the A minor. So, so this is the four note grouping that I like to use. Uh, the five note grouping, you move that up to one level, five note grouping gives you uh, the last note of the pentatonic. So now you have, so now you have all five notes in your pentatonic scale. So um, the next mode is major, it's just a full major scale from root to octave, minor scale, root to octave, uh, in whichever key you pick, uh, and then custom. Right now, custom is just a full chromatic scale, which is super fun, super challenging, uh, especially when you get level 3, level 4, level 5. Uh, next version of this app, custom scale, will be user configurable. You can have two notes in the scale. You can have all 12, whatever you want to do, whole tone, whole half, whatever you can think of. That's what the custom scale will be. Uh, so right now, we're going back to the four-note game. Uh, the tempo defaults to 100, uh, which is a little slow, really, for me. I like it about 120, so I'm going to go ahead and make that adjustment real quick. Uh, 123, close enough. Uh, the key of C, the octave is low, so it's in the middle four string or middle two strings. We're going to pause the gate. This is important. Uh, the gate is the microphone sensitivity, and so the Defaulting the gate at 0.8 is a good starting point. Uh, should right now, you can see that it's picking the notes up clearly and not picking up a lot of garbage in between the notes. Um, if you use a line input like um, iRig or whatever, you're going to get a stronger signal. You may need to raise that gate to get the notes to come in clean without throwing in too many um, you know, marbly tuner notes. I'm talking a lot, sorry. Um, okay, it's hard to get this all out at once. Okay, so those are your basic settings. So um, from the menu up here in the top left, uh, 
the second choice is play. Now you can see right here the settings are showing me that I've got level one, keep C, octave low. So these are all the settings we're about to enter the game with. And I call it a game, but it's really a workout. Uh, the third choice on the menu here is help, which is basically all written out instructions of what I'm explaining to you right now and other tips. So feel free to read through that. Um, so when we go to the play mode, this is what you get. You have a fingerboard showing you the four notes. Obviously the low string is on the bottom, uh, which is most familiar with tab readers. Um, so low string on the bottom, fourth fret on, or you know, low fret on the left, high fret on, high fret on the right. Um, future versions will allow left-handed neck, or you can invert the strings. I'm working on that. Um, okay, this first button over here on the top left is uh, the eighth notes. All that is is just to let you hear the scale before you actually start the game. So you can make sure that the notes you're seeing on the fingerboard match up with the notes on your guitar. So you can see the G, A, C, and D sitting right there. And even if you didn't know that's the name of these notes, that's the name of these notes. So you can, you can test them out real quick and you can hit these notes. And so that just let me know four notes I'm going to hear and the tempo that the game is going to be playing at. So. Right. So that's the speed we're going. If that's too fast or too slow for you to hang with, hop back over to the menu, drop the tempo back a little bit or up, whatever you want, and come back over here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and launch this first four-note round, four note game just to give you an idea of how it's going to work. says would you like to play again I'm gonna play again this time I'm gonna blow it on purpose so you can see what else happens would you like to try that again you got a yes or a no option we'll go yes You can see right there that I bent into a couple of notes, I slurred a little bit. This thing is quite forgiving actually. It allows you enough time to grab a note, even slur. You can bend notes. You don't have to fret these four notes where I'm showing you right here. I just like that grouping. You could use another uh, location for those four notes and it's still going to take that. What it really cares about is the octave and the tempo. Um, and you get the notes in the right order. So uh, that's going to conclude this video. I'm going to make uh, a couple of other scenes of different settings and things. Um, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching.